Don't forget the doc. Several network participants recently called into Dr. Rick Wright's Old School Sunday's radio show. Check this out. Well, it's time to go to Boston, Massachusetts. Check out the Berkeley School of Music and find the assistant director of the Berkeley School of Music, Syracuse University SI Newhouse School of Public Communication graduate and also a graduate of the Case Western Reserve Law School. The genius of the history of music, the genius of the legalities of music. I'm talking about John Kellogg, Esquire, from Boston, Massachusetts, the Berkeley School of Music, and he used to hang out with a group called Cameo, right? Oh, yeah. Hey, what about the new decade of the 1970s in Syracuse, Sir John? That's right. Jimmy Nelson. Oh, man. Elvis Jameson. What a Mr. story. Cummings. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, John, what's the report this week on the world of music, man? Oh, uh, you've got it, Doc Wright. Here's your business report for this week for everybody who knows somebody in the music business. Doc Wright, I've just got a few notes for you. Okay. First, earlier this week, Def Jam Records appointed Christopher Hicks. Chris Hicks, executive VP in charge of acquiring and developing new talent for the label. Chris has earned a stellar reputation over the years as a super A&R man, recognizing and nurturing the talents of Lil Wayne, T.I., and Dr. Dre. Chris also takes this job after being the senior VP of Urban A&R at Atlantic Records and senior VP of A&R and head of Urban Music for Warner Chapel Music Publishing. He was one of the movers and shakers that turned Atlanta into one of the capitals of urban music over the past decade. So good luck to you, Chris, and congratulations. Secondly, I also want to give a shout-out to Leonard Brooks. Leonard Brooks, or LB as he's known. Leonard started out years ago as a road manager for the group Men at Large and later became the brother-in-law and manager of the late Gerald LeVert. This company, Brooks Entertainment, also guided the career of my client, former Men at Large member and Grammy-nominated gospel artist, Jason Champion. LB has, become, has just become the head of urban music at Capitol Records. So congratulations to him as well. Two great young black men taking the music business to the next level. And lastly, it was announced this week that Boys to Men, Boys to Men will continue its world tour after their performance with Al Green at the Grammys. And get this, Doc, the tour also includes a date at the New York State Fair in Syracuse on August 28th. So oh, get ready, Salt City. Oh, bring it. Oh, yes, coming to Syracuse. All right. That's right. I may have to stop through for that show. Well, you came through last year when I was broadcasting live from the great New York State Fair. I looked up, and we were coming from the Pan-African Village, and right. looked up, there was John Kellogg in the New York <laughs> State Fair, about 100,000 people out there that day, man, and you came through, and I had a ball, man. Yeah, it was great seeing you. Always great seeing you. Well, John, how are things in Boston, Massachusetts this afternoon? Well, it's kind of cold, and we're expecting a lot of snow. They say we're going to get 14 inches by the end of the day. Uh, hold it, hold so it. we just might have a snow day. Hold it, run this by me again. How many inches in Boston? 14, 14 inches. That's a big storm. Oh, 14 inches. That's some kind of an East Coast storm coming up. It's coming up the Interstate 95 corridor right there. That's too. right. That's the storm. Well, John, while I got you, one more thing. Yeah. What about the performance rights that are happening right now? All the people who sing songs are trying to get some money. They're trying to get paid, not just the songwriters. And Patti LaBelle, a lot of people are being testifying in front of Congress. Of course, I'm all for it in that we need to pay the singers, not just the songwriters. I agree with you, Doc Wright, and particularly for the artists that uh, do all of the, most of the music that you hear on Power 106.9. These are artists that have been around for years. And only the songwriters that write the songs get paid through BMI and ASCAP. But now the, the performers want to be paid also, and they're really pushing Congress to enact a law that will enable them to get paid when their songs are played on the radio. So I hope it happens, because you know how I feel about that. Oh, yes. Well, John, thank you so much for being my in-resident music expert and giving us and keeping us abreast of what's happening in the music world. And God bless you in this incredible, fantastic career being one of the big heads and leaders in the music world and the music industry. And what's the name of that book you wrote? Take care of your music business, because, you know, I say every time the music gets played, somebody gets paid. And if you're an artist, songwriter, writer, or producer, you should always take care of business and get paid, not played. Okay. Talk to you next week. 
Talk to you the next week. John Kellogg, assistant director of the Berkeley School of Music, one of the world's greatest schools of music in Boston, Mass. All right, so get to all the Syracuse University alums throughout the world. Checking out Dr. Rick Wright, Power 106.9, Old School Sunday. On a big bad Sunday afternoon, Dr. Rick Wright live and well in Syracuse here at Power 106.9 Radio. Do it. The network reminds you that you too may call into Dr. Rick Wright on Sundays between 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check in with the doc at area code 315 428 1069. Don't forget the doc.